Hello everyone, I just wanted to give you a brief introduction on how to get started with left handed gaming. I'll just show you some of these mice I've actually brought out for you to show you today. I'll start off with the Rockat mouse as well. So this is an ambidextrous mouse as you can see. It fits on both so you can use it for your right hand and your left hand. Pretty simple. It's got a DPI change button right here. So it's got seven modes where you can click from one to seven, so it hides your DPI and it's just on a loop, so it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just goes round back to one. It's got a scroll wheel, as you can see right there. Left click, right click, all that good stuff. You can change them about. You know, there's a driver online you can download. You probably be able to change all the buttons around. You know, it's pretty, I got it for twenty five pounds in a Curry's PC world, so it's it's actually really nice to get yourself started off. The link will be in the description. Show you the back right there. There's a bit of branding right there, rock out, and there's one on the side. And the next one is a bit bit more forward and it costs a bit more. I'm not too sure about much of the pricing, but I'd say around about forty to fifty pounds now. This is a razor death adder, left handed edition. It does light up blue as well as the rock out one as well. That lights up blue right there, that little liney type of emblem. As you can see there's like a little razor logo right there, that lights up blue as well as this scroll wheel this feels more better as well than the actual rock hat one right here, that feels really stiff it doesn't, doesn't feel like it's been sort of broken, I'll probably have to have a few more goes of that I'll probably might do a review on it later on down the line With this one, you got actually two buttons here on the side as well so you can have this as your reload button and like your throw grenade button or your sprint if you just want to hold that and use your forward key, whatever you've got that map to You've got this nice scroll as I was saying, got a nice clicker, left and right clicks really nice, feels really good as well and it holds much more better than the actual rock out one. As with this one I've got very big hands, I mean the size I'll do a comparison, there's my hand right there compared to the rock out, it's quite quite a difference, real big difference, there's a right there and with this one. Got quite a nice claw grip to it as well, so if you feel more of a claw gripper. You get really nice tactile touch as well, and the key, like the actual, the actual clicks are very responsive and very quick, as well as the Rocat one. It's a bit more stiff and a bit less responsive, but you are paying for a better product, in my opinion. You know, I've got a few. I've got another Razor Mouse over there. We'll get to that in a moment. This is actually a 3500 DPI, 3.5 G infrared laser. Whereas this one is only a 2000 DPI, but it does serve you really well, especially if you've got like a large surface and you don't really use high sensitivity. This would be a really good option just to start out with. But I would definitely recommend this middle one here, definitely the Razor Death Adder. Best thing about this is that it's it's a bit larger. I mean, you don't really much of a small mouse. Why should we? Why should be having trouble? Especially if you've got larger hands like myself. I mean, like this is like the actual first mouse I bought and it feels really well, it feels really good, nice finish to it. I'll bring you over to our third mouse right here. This is the Razer this is the Razer Naga left hand edition. It came out early early twenty like late twenty thirteen sorry. It's got an eight thousand two hundred DPI four G laser. So it's the left hand edition there. It's, I said it's Razer Razer Naga 2014 edition, even though it came out in 2013, but I guess they can sell it in 2014, so they don't have to bring out a new one. You've got 12 side buttons as well, you've probably seen this on the right handed Naga, it's pretty much a switch over. And the best thing about these, they're mechanical, so you get a nice responsive click out of them, real nice. Real nice touch as well, and you can easily find them as well, as they're kind of been gridded at an angle, as you can see right there. It's got a side click as well, left and right, so you can have that as like your tilt buttons, so like lift left and right if you play Daisy. Got two buttons here, which are actually pretty easy to to get hold of. You just tap those. So if you're holding your mouse like this, really easy. Some people say they find it really hard to like touch the last row. Not with me. I mean, I find it pretty simple. Really easy. It's also got this rubber grip on the side. You can see this is more of a quality. I think I paid something around about seventy pounds for this mouse, but I think it's well worth the money. It goes well on my desk as well. I've, I've got a, a razor, a razor green keyboard. I don't really know what it's called. I got given it to me as a gift. I think it's like the Death. No wait, the Black Widow Ultimate. That's the one. It's mechanical as well. So this is green. All this as well, and this is green. So it lights up all these twelve numbers on the side here. It's got a green wheel, and it's got the green logo branding it. As I was saying about the razor Death Adder over here, 
these light up in blue, this is green. I don't think you can get this, you can't change the colours because they do have Razer software, Razer Synapse 2.0. You can check that out on their website, you'll be able to download that. So it's, you probably will want it if you've got a Razer mouse such as this one. As I was saying, it feels more comfortable as I've got quite a big hand, as you can see, and I've actually got a rest for my pinky finger right here, as I normally have to cram them on all together like this. But you get more of a tactile touch as well, it's like you can feel it more upgraded. It's a bit lighter than the Razer Death Adder because this has got a bit more weight to it. I'd say a little more drag, but with the Razer Naga, you get a bit more movement. They normally say it's just for MMOs, like if you play like Diablo or World of Warcraft. This is definitely a World of Warcraft mouse, but to tell you the truth, I mean, I, I use it for Battlefield 4, Call of Duty, but I use it for everything. So if you've got a bit more money to spare, I'll definitely head for this one if you want to say it was. What's got a few more nicer features? Yeah, it actually performs very well. I mean, if you've got like a high sensitivity person, you can easily crank that up to 8,200 DPI, and you'll be flying. You move that, and then you'll just be on the other side of the screen. It's kind of crazy how much DPI they put on it. But I mean, if you're that type of person, definitely good for you. Beats both of these as well. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be more videos coming out for the left-handed game, and I'll show you some of the key maps I do for some big title games, such as like Battlefield 4. Well, I hope you enjoy, and I hope you have the rest of a nice day. See you soon. Bye.